Welcome back to weekend number 18. Can you believe it? It's actually been that many weeks. And the van is slowly starting to come together. As you'll see in the background, we've got more walls up. Although it's been, what, like four and a half months. Probably longer than that, actually, because we've done, like, a few weekends that we've missed filming. So, um, it's actually the end of Saturday. So, we've actually had a quite a semi-productive day it's been ridiculously hot so we've kind of been doing things a bit slower than what we'd expected but it is like 28 degrees in the uk so we've just kind of done it as we will so as you can see we've got the window frames up and i've literally finished this side of the wall of the fly far from the from the roof but let me off on that one so yeah let me show you that in closer detail so here's a semi-finished window all of the ply is up what we literally need to do now is just like trim get some trim in this edge which we actually picked up from wix so it's like this that we're just going to put in the corners we're going to paint it white i think and black on the outside just to finish off and to sort of neatly tidy that up and then around the edge we're going to do another trim uh we haven't quite figured out yet but again it's kind of going to be probably a last minute job just sort of tidying stuff up super happy with how it's turned out it looks so nice seeing this bit Laz has come to say hey. Wow. Uh, so yeah, super happy with how it looks. This bit was really annoying me because it looks so ugly with how we'd cut out the window and the foil barrier. So super nice to see that done. And we can use the windowsill now. Laz has been using it for his coffee. I've been sitting here. Yeah. Put my morning coffee on here. Yeah. It's awesome. Look at that. And yeah. obviously we'll have a shelf here. So yeah. Like, and then we'll fill up all these holes yeah so you can't see them and it should look nice and neat but yeah so all of this side all of the ply is done and then this bit again like i said before we're just going to cut it we still haven't found any that we like so we're on the hunt to find it but there's not any it's not like the end of the world it's just it would be quite nice cover up all of this stupid foil barrier and then start getting cracking on with the roof um, Laszlo, Mr. Laz, has been doing his cupboard today. He's been tidying it up and fiddling around with the conduits, putting all the wires in. Hopefully we can get a little bit more progress with that next week when the battery arrives. Well, maybe if the battery arrives. Yeah, we'll see. But it's, it's a work in progress. You know, it's not going to be done sort of over the next week so we have five weeks or six weeks till we have a mini trip away to wales so our priority one was getting the bed done so that we have something to sleep on and then priority number two is going to be the toilet so that we can test it out make sure that it's fit for use and there's not anything we need to add to the toilet setup itself and yeah see you tomorrow good morning <laughs> It's Sunday! Woo! And it's really sunny and hot and steamy, as Laz calls it. Too steamy, boys. Too steamy. Today's plan! What are you doing? I don't know. I'm going to do the cupboard tops. Not the cupboards, like the ceiling. Where we're not putting the cladding. Laz is probably going to sit there for two hours and figure out what he's doing with the shower. <laughs> I think we should just do battens around it, but he's like, is it super nice? So he's gonna sit there and wait um, while I actually do stuff and he just sits in the background. That's not true. I'm figuring stuff out. Also, when we first come in the van, it's like 30 degrees. It was so steamy. As soon as we opened the door, we got a wind tunnel. Yes, yeah, so we got a nice draft through that side door. Uh, so nice. On to the day! 2,000 years later. After about three hours of <laughs> <laughs> what felt like intense mathematician, we have a plan. There's literally numbers everywhere. <laughs> so basically what we're trying to figure out is everything. Everything, yeah, but how to create the base for the shower. Which we always knew was gonna be <laughs> mission. Laz is just getting comfortable. <laughs> <Taking> <laughs> this easy. is where I spent the last six hours. And I was laying across the floor. So there are quite a lot of dilemmas. The first dilemma is we need to get ventilation pipe or air pipe or whatever from the heater which is going to be here. We need to get that to come through 
at the back of the shower, underneath everything, into that bench. And then we're going to have a, a vent somewhere along here. To heat. To heat, yeah. So, if you push the shower all the way up against the edge, we haven't got enough room, so we need to make more room. To make more room, and to support the shower tray, we're probably going to use these, which is just 12 mil ply, right, Cass? Yes. 12 mil ply, and we're going to make a little base for the shower to sit on, right? And we'll have that all the way along the square. Now, we also need one here for the tunnel. So we're going to make a tunnel out of that and that and a 5mm on the top and that there. These are just mock pieces by the yeah. way. We haven't actually cut them out yet which is what, <laughs> which is all of that. No. So we're going to have a tunnel or something like that where we can feed the vent through. So then the next mission after we have a tunnel is that this toilet needs to sit like this slightly over <laughs> or probably not that over but anyway it's gonna sit something like that over there so we need to raise this whole thing up what we gotta do is because we need to make a frame along here anyway to support the shower and to screw the wall into it and stuff we're gonna extend and make a little base at the back out of this stuff. And then we'll put, not five mil ply on top, but- 12 mil. 12 mil ply on top. To support the toilet. For this, to Laz wanted to do five and a half mil. I was like, you realize that it's got to take all of our weight plus the toilet. It needs to be thick enough. Yeah, but I was gonna add a support beam in the I middle. don't, regardless of a support beam, it's got to take like, 70 and 80 kilos we're going to do the same kind of theory that we've done there we're going to block out a base out of this stuff a frame and then instead of five mil ply on top we're going to do 12 mil ply on top and that will be the base for the toilet now obviously it's not as trivial as that because everything is slightly different measurements you need to take into account the wall that you're going to put in and everything needs to be fairly precise. So and we're having a double wall this side to account for the piping and like the water mix the water mixer. Yeah. So on this end, instead of just having a single wall, we obviously need a double wall so we can run pipes up into the wall. Because this wall is not hidden. We are gonna have a bench seat here, but the shower mixer is probably gonna be up here. So we need two walls with some supports in between uh, to run the pipes up and it will be nicely hidden. So we had to take into account all the thicknesses of that, measure everything and do <laughs> Which is why we're of, doing what yeah. look like, looks like algebra. Yeah. yeah, and there are loads of different ways of doing it as well. You can use, I don't know, I'm sure you've seen loads of videos. So. Well, we know we've got to create a base for the toilet. So that, that's, that's what we're doing now. Yeah. Quick update! We've got a tunnel. Anyway, we've been chopping and measuring and doing things for the past century. And now we need to assemble things. Yeah. So we've and got all, all the. the is wonky. Yeah, it's alright. But it should be fine once we all screw it together. Yeah, so this is going to be our toilet. So we've mark numbered them. That's numbered them. Something. <laughs> F3, F4. So this one sits in the middle. So somehow we need to assemble them together. Like that.
Come on, lazy boy, bring your mouse trap into here. Right. We got a contraption in. <laughs> Ta -da. Like so. And then this bad boy. With the shear screen. It's gonna we don't know which way it's gonna go yet. It'll depend when our tank arrives and stuff, see where I can get this hole cut through mm -hmm. the floor. Well let's just put it like that. So just for the purpose of this exercise, we're gonna get have fly on top like that. It'll sit underneath it, but that's kind of the, the aim of what we are going for. And then the toiletta is going to sit like that. And then we've cut a little hole into the base oops, into the base here because the uh, the air vent yeah. or the air ducting or whatever that will come from the heater will come through here, in there, through here, through here, through here, <laughs> and then out They're here. Everywhere. And then now we're here probably. So this is what we've been trying to figure out today. But I think we're getting there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna now cut. A five mil ply to sit on top 12 of this. Mil, Twelve mil. Twelve mil ply to sit on top of there, and then we should be good to go. And also, we have another dilemma: is the toilet fan hole. I don't know to put it on the side or to put it through the floor. Yeah, we've seen people do it both ways. So I'm gonna have a look under the van and see mm. if I have room to cut that hole through so we don't have to cut another hole in the side we can put it through the floor and then the only other hole we need to cut for the side is for the diesel heater but which is going in there yeah so that's something that i might look under the van now and see what's going on around this area see if we can hit a hole through the floor oh i did start doing the ceiling the ply um but we kind of needed two people to power this through so we've been yeah, doing it as a team that was a pretty big job so it's been yeah. a team Righty ho is coming to the end of today's vlog. <laughs> Look at that sunshine. Oh, so sunny. The golden hour going. Ooh, I can't see it. Beautiful. Final piece of the puzzle. Well, <laughs> today's, today's today's puzzle. puzzle. Dun, dun, dun. Then shower. Yeah. Like then. so, and then plop the toilet on. Ready to roll. Ready for my first poo. So that's how, <laughs> that's how I Joe would hang me out. Go on, give it a go. I was about to take my toilet shorts down. <laughs> uh -huh. I was about to take my shorts down. Don't take your shorts. Is it the right height? Oh, your foot is floating. We didn't take into that into account. Is that right? I think so. You can put it on the side there. On the side. <laughs> Don't, don't stand on that. Right, oh, there we go. I'm gonna have to shoot my pee down there, aren't I? What do you reckon, Cass? Well, I wouldn't come out of here, wouldn't I? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, have you took my poo in there or something? No, why? The thing's open. Close that. And then we are thinking, on this side, I think you're gonna box that in. Gonna make a little box where the wire and the fan tube is gonna be. So I think we're gonna, gonna box that in and PVC that as well. So in case there's a little bit of water splashes on there, it should be uh, well well protected. And now also, if we are gonna attach the toilet through the through the floor, then we can attach it into that ply. So the only other thing is here we'll need to trim. We put these uh, as close to the shower tray as we can. So we're gonna trim about two centimeters off here to make the shower narrow, I think, and that will give yeah, us a bit more room. Yeah, will actually be here. So it will actually be the shower tray will be in line with this here. So we're gonna chop all that off. And then the wall, the outside wall, which you'll probably use 15 mil ply for, is gonna go, gonna attach into there, and then it will go up to here, and then same thing here. This will actually go forward a little bit, so we can slide in like a 12 yeah. or 15 mil ply sheet, which will be the wall there. Like that. And then at the front, 
You can see we have enough room. Yeah, so to we're also gonna wall. take some of this off as well, so you've got room. Yeah. You don't need that. So we're gonna trim a tiny bit off there as well, because we will have the double wall going up there, mm -hmm. just stopping by the window where we're gonna have the pipes and whatever to the heater, which is gonna be there. Get in here. Turn it on. <laughs> yeah, wash your hair. Turn it off. Shampoo. Actually, we're gonna have a little uh, wooden thing in there, aren't we? Then yeah. your feet might touch the ground. Yeah, we're gonna put, um, you get like wooden slats. You can get them for like your normal house as well. So I, f I found one that I want. So that will sit in there just to protect the base as well. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, maybe. Maybe your feet will touch the ground now. Yeah. Yeah, potentially. We might raise up now. We'll see. If not, you'll be floating when you're on the toilet. <laughs> so that is it for this week, guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope the shower gave you some ideas. And the windows. And the windows. Which looks pretty nice. As you just you need see, to put the trim yeah. around the edge. Sorry, a cup holder. Yeah, we were having all our drinks there. It's quite nice. But yeah, that is it for this weekend and stay tuned for next week. What are we doing next week? Next week. Why um, do I always have cables sticking into my head? <laughs> what are we doing next week? Um, probably more shower, probably yeah. more electrics if my electric stuff arrives. Yeah, so yesterday I said what our priorities were. I said the bed and the toilet. Obviously the electrics is a priority as well, but we're just waiting for the battery to come before Laz can get on and do any more. So yeah. while he's waiting, this is our priority. Yeah, to at least get the... So probably next week we'll finish hooking up. I'll cut a hole into the side it, or the bottom. It would be nice to get it blocked out. Yeah, we might do the big side panels uh, just to get the shower blocked in mm. and, uh, and, the, and the ceiling bit as well that we still need to figure out. So yeah, but stay yeah. tuned. Stay tuned, thanks and for watching. And see you next week! Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm.